You just checked it. You just checked it. Well, you better double check it then. Um, so I got the motor mostly taken apart. <laughs> I had the camera running too. What's up, it's Casey from Casey's Customs. We're back on the training day Monte Carlo. In this video, we not only get the engine running a lot better, we get it looking a lot better. Let's get to work. We are back on the beautiful training day Monte Carlo. We have already started body work. Richard, put a video up of me doing body work right there. I'm gonna keep my hand up for a little extra time because Richard kind of slow. Anyways, finally started body work. Very, very exciting. We've been doing body work on the Mustang for like two or three months now, but it's finally done. We're gonna be painting this bad boy in like two days. So what we need to do is get the Monte Carlo the hell out of the shop because <laughs> whenever you want to do a paint job, you need to just scrub a garage. It's better obviously to have a paint booth, but my dad loves this shop. He just always does his paint jobs in here. So we'll pull everything outside, wash the hell out of it, all that good shit. Just make it spick and span here and then pull the Mustang in the middle and we'll paint it. The reason I'm telling you all that is because the Monte Carlo needs to go outside. Now, it already does run and drive. I could technically do it right now. It doesn't run and drive great, though. We have a tiny little two-barrel carburetor. It has a bunch of vacuum leaks. It's never been great ever since I've owned it. I have driven it several times, but it's not the best. Here comes Holly now. Holly sent this for the Blazer conversion, and once I saw the black... I just kind of fell in love with it. This car is going to be black. And I was like, yeah, it's just too good. So I called them and said, hey, I know you sent me this for the Blazer. Is it okay if we put it on the Monte Carlo? They said, no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and change the intake. Just everything. We're going to do all that. Valve covers, all that. It's time. It's time to do a good tune-up on it anyway. And since our interior is already done, our exterior is getting closer to being done. I think it's time we go ahead and spend a little bit of time on the motor. So we're going to yank out all the old shit, put in the new shit. And I also finally got my wood grain steering wheel. I think I ordered this thing two months ago. It finally just showed up. So we have plenty of stuff to do. As usual, I'm rambling. I think what I'm going to do is probably start under the hood. And then whenever I get greasy and just grimy, then we'll go ahead and start doing our steering wheel. That way we can transfer all the grease to the inside of the car and it'll piss me off later. Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> I decided, screw it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the steering wheel first, even though it'd be funnier to get grease everywhere. <sighs> All right, let's do it. Okay, here is a tip on taking off steering wheels. This is especially important on old cars. All I work on is old cars, and I have to do this on every single steering wheel. So, my main nut is loose. Now, most people will think, oh, so the steering wheel comes on. They seize on there like you cannot believe and you can take a slide hammer, you can do all kinds of shit, it will not come off. What you can do though, take an air chisel and put it, make sure you don't mess up your threads, put it on there, just give it a quick buzz, it'll shake it enough, it'll pop right out. This is a 1978, this is the original steering wheel, so it's been on there for what, 42, 43 years? Been on here for a very long time and I haven't done this yet, it should pop right off. Comes off every time. Hopefully, I didn't just jinx myself. I should probably put your plugs in. <laughs> there we go. Every time. Every single time. I friggin' love this. Didn't touch the threads. Our nut is still intact. Love it. Also, I don't know if you can see down in there, but this is the factory steering wheel. And the reason they get so tight is you just have a little bit of rust form in between the grooves and they will just seize to the shaft. Air chisel knocks them loose, baby. Now, let's put on our new steering wheel. I was not sure that was the right adapter. <laughs> Turn her down. Sweet. Man, I'm so happy. <laughs> ah, that looks good. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait till we get like our digital gauges and stuff in here too, but that was not a very cheap steering wheel, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> All right, let's start playing with the motor now. All right, so here's what's funny. Um, I was telling dad, gonna do an intake. 
carburetor valve covers he said that's going to take forever on the monte carlo so don't even bother starting it because <laughs> we need to get the monte carlo out of here so we can paint the mustang i said dad it's gonna take me just a couple hours i'm a freaking master mechanic well um got to look in it this and i cannot believe how many freaking vacuum lines and just bullshit that i'm gonna have to uh kind of redo yeah 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 well i don't know he might have been right i'm not saying we're giving up maybe we'll be pushing it out <laughs> in a couple days holy shit look at the freaking vacuum lines oh naturally you know they aren't very well attached and uh yeah i mean this is why she's running like a dog right now but all right let's start ripping some shit up Ugh. I have taken off like 20 something vacuum lines. I was I was counting them at first. There's so many. Holy shit. Oh, let's keep at it. Actually, no It'll build up down in through here. You see that? That probably came off of bullshit flying in there. The, this stuff. Yeah. This that's stuff. I don't know all that out. See that? Yeah, that was like they fucked up the valve cover. I would scrape this, put the thing on, and then do the valve covers. Look at that. That was clogged. Oh wow. That's pretty fucking good though. Yeah. Ooh. Scrape that. Clean it up. Check it out. She's all clean. It looks good down there. I got this gasket surface already. The valve covers are kind of overhanging a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop them off. Get those all cleaned up, and then we'll put the intake on and put the valve covers on. But uh, very happy with how it looks down in there. Sweet. I am so happy with how this looks, man. Oh, baby. Need to get the valve covers put on. Need to make sure I have room over here. It looks like it might hit. I might have to scoot that a little bit. Wow, it looks really good. Very, very happy. I bought brand new uh, ARP hardware too, so it looks good and will sit good. That is a very tall intake. <laughs> uh, we're not going to hit the hood, are we? No, 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 we're fine. Okay, let's get these valve covers on. Damn, that looks great. I actually just had a brain fart. Any of the stuff that I want to paint, now would be the time to do it. I was going to paint basically just my rusty shit. I plan on getting a newer alternator, so I'll probably just go ahead and spray it, spray the AC, just basically black everything out. And then whatever I'll replace later, it'll just look that much better. But now's the time to do it before I have to worry about, you know, getting paint on my valve cover. So let's just spray the living shit out of all this real quick. <laughs> All right, distributor really fought me. It was a pain in the ass. It got clocked a little bit and I just couldn't get it to line back up, but we're good. The valve covers ended up taking longer to put on than the intake because they took longer bolts. I couldn't find them, took forever, finally got them. Also, it looks absolutely amazing, but I hate, you know, that we have the old spark plug wires and the old distributor doesn't look good. So I went ahead and ordered those new. Those aren't going to be here, you know, in time for this video to be finished, but God, it looks so good. I'm so happy. Also, we're getting ready to paint this thing. We already started doing some undercoat. Coating. So it doesn't look like this is going to be done in time for, uh, you know, us to paint that. So the, my dad was right. And that really, really is hard for me to say. I'm not happy to say that. But it happens every now and then. I, uh, whatever. Blind squirrels is an asshole. I don't know how that whole thing works. But yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get as much put on as I can. And we're probably just going to have to push it outside since this is getting painted so soon. Which is upsetting. But we can always pick back up. The next two days, it doesn't matter. This is all stuff that's not going to be in the video. So I don't know what I'm talking about it. But I want to get this big boy put on here and let's see how everything looks. 
holy shit i cannot make this up i was putting my carburetor on and i'm like man that's getting tall and i looked up and i was like oh yeah i think something hit up here i didn't realize it until just now that is a snake skin oh my god holy shit i've looked at that 10 times i didn't even realize what it was that is a snake skin what and it's like it's stuck on there <laughs> Wow. Holy shit. Is that a rattlesnake with the diamond uh, pattern right there? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that. I've, I mean, I've looked at it and I was like, oh, whatever. I just assumed something stuck to the hood. That is nuts. I got all this put together basically close enough to get it outside. Let's throw the air cleaner on and then we're calling it a day. I mean, holy shit. That looks so freaking good. Ah, uh, moment of truth though. Let me put the camera back on the tripod. Oh, I don't know how this is gonna work. All right, here we go. I don't know, it's gonna be real close, I think. Oh, wow, we're good, we're good. We're good! <laughs> man, it wasn't looking, it wasn't looking so hot there for a minute. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck yeah. Dude, this looks so amazing. I mean, holy shit. The only thing that's bad, even though it looks awesome, you can't see the carb at all, and the carb looks really good by itself. I mean, I understand why some guys run a small air cleaner, but this is perfect with the, you know, the lines matching. Oh, man. What a huge difference from, like, before and after. I still got some paint work to do, too, but I've been in here for, like, eight hours today. So we are calling it a day. And the next time you guys see footage of the Mustang, it's going to get painted. Yippee! What? You just checked it. You just checked it. Well, you better double check it then, shit. Um, so I got the motor mostly taken apart. <laughs> I had the camera running too. <laughs> okay, I'm breaking the motor apart. You are doing body work. And I'll be honest with you, you really need to chill out with this Bondo. It just seems like you're smearing it everywhere. And <laughs> he always bitches that I do shitty body work. And he's not wrong. But anyways, you really got to take it easy, man. This is just like coating on coat. You gotta, you know, sm the smoother it goes on, the easier it sands. <laughs> All right, I'm going. I, <laughs> I did. As soon as I said that, I filmed the roof. <laughs> All right. Anyways, I'm back on the motor. <laughs> All right. I think. Sorry, that's in your way. I think the distributor's ready to go. Let's see what. Happens. You get him out. Hey, hey, turn it as you go. I'm trying. Yeah. Okay, should be plugged in still. No, nope. should have. Okay, your, uh, back your wire back. is still hooked up to your no. edge there. No. That you're trying. There you go. Nah. And she'll come right on out. I'm going to change that oil while you're at it. You'll find out how your motor was taken care of when you, uh. Yeah, as soon as that head comes up, or as soon as that intake comes off. Yeah. She's loose, baby! Okay. We are back on the Monte Carlo. We took a couple days off because we had to paint the Mustang. Richard, put a picture of the Mustang here. It is looking so good. I'm so freaking excited. But we're back on the lowrider, baby. I love this. I love you too. You're just not painted right now, but we're going to paint you in like two weeks because your paint job is a lot easier than that paint job. Anyways, I'm talking to a car. Funny story. My neighbor, Crystal, she cleans the shop for me. I don't know. Every other week or so, she does a great job. She organizes all the stuff. You see all the paint cans organized? I would never do that. I just throw them up there and they look like shit. She does a great job. She was picking up bolts and she saw all these bolts right here in front of this car. And there was also a pile of bolts over there. Motherfucker. Listen to me right now, air compressor. I swear to God, I will run you out of oil. I know the old man checks the oil every six hours or so, but don't be interrupting me whenever I'm talking. So anyways, I got these bolts on all over here and she saw this other bucket of bolts that was out. And... Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit, man. What is going on? All right, well, 
This has been an extremely annoying two minutes. Anyways, she saw all the bolts on the ground. This is a, my bucket of random bolts. And she went, oh, random bolts go in the random bucket. Well, I'm an idiot that shouldn't have left them out. That was all the bolts I needed to put all this shit back together. It's all the little specialty bolts for the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, they're all in there now. Can't blame her, it's my fault, but uh, yeah. We're going to be fishing for bolts to uh, start putting some of this shit together. I did uh, get a chrome uh, water neck, though. I like that a lot better than the one I had. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm Fuck this whole bullshit. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to take the off. <laughs> all right, let's get to work. My parts I bought don't fit. So I bought the wrong water neck and I bought two wrong plugs because I'm I can do away with about half of all these damn vacuum lines I have. I have the wrong plugs, so I'm gonna put all the old ugly shit back on for now and then we'll end up popping it back off. But this can basically be converted to like you know just a normal heater hose situation, and then this can be plugged. I don't need this EGR valve anymore, but uh, it's okay for now. It's not gonna be the end of the world. Uh, also, the air cleaner's big, so it covers a lot of that shit. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna put these on and then probably tape off my intake and shit and then spray them with black whenever I get them on there. Let's keep installing shit. All right, we are back on the Monte Carlo. We got sidetracked there for a little bit. We were painting the Mustang, and we are also doing body work on this while we were kind of finishing up the Mustang. Just a ton of shit in between. I basically haven't touched this for three or four days because we were so focused on it. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out now. Here is what it looks like. Richard put it in my hand. I am so happy. Came out perfect. Ton of pearl. Just really, really happy with it. Here's the good news. This paint job on the Monte Carlo is going to be literally 10 times easier. It's a solid color. I didn't have to cut all kinds of crazy shit on this car. The Mustang did not have a panel that wasn't cut up. Quarter panels cut up, doors cut up, fenders cut up in like eight pieces, hood cut up, everything got cut up. This one, the only crazy shit we've done is the sunroof. And then I basically had to weld up some uh, trim holes that we're not using, but super simple. We should be able to get this thing painted, you know, probably in the next two weeks, which is going to be awesome. I'd like to cruise this thing this summer because it has heat, AC, and it's just a, you know, really nice car. But as usual, I'm rambling. Uh, I got almost everything put together on this engine. I need to get my throttle put back on. Uh, just a couple things like that. I'm going to be putting new vacuum lines on because I didn't want to reuse the old ones because they just looked like shit and they're cracked. I have probably deleted half of the stupid shit, you know, emissions, crap like that we don't need anymore, but there's still a bunch of it that needs to be used so that, you know, our air conditioner, our windshield wipers, all that shit will still work. So I'm trying to delete everything I can while trying to make it look good, but on these, you know, 70s and 80s cars, there's just so many vacuum lines and bullshit. It's kind of just, you have to have it. But let's quit rambling and let's get to work. Hopefully we can get this thing fired up tonight because I really want to hear what it sounds like with a high-rise intake and a lot bigger car carburetor than I had. All right, let's see if we put all this shit back together, right? I got my fuel pump primed, so it should be okay, hopefully.
Peter, finally. What the fuck is leaking? Is that gas or radiator fluid? Oh, we got... <laughs> oh, shit, I got a leak. Okay, okay. <laughs> Holy shit. That is leaking real bad. And that's okay, because we're replacing this one anyways. I bought the wrong chrome one. It is uh, supposed to be a different angle. So, we're okay. I thought that was gas at first, and I about had a fucking heart attack. <laughs> Let me see. Maybe I can uh, maybe I can close this off for a second and let it run for a little bit longer. I obviously don't want to run it too much, but uh, yeah, let me see what I can do. Okay, so <laughs> took the water neck off, and either I over tightened it or it was already broke before because it came out in two pieces. That's not a good sign. So I threw my chrome one on there, even though it's completely wrong. It's pointing straight instead of that way. We kind of got this just rigged up a little bit i want to let it run a little bit um also if i was smart i would have adjusted my lifters while i had the uh, valve covers off and shit because she has the old small block chevy puff of white smoke whenever it starts they're kind of known for it that's how they mark their spot to be completely honest with you that's how they prove that they are a small block chevy but i definitely should have done that before but no big deal got the air cleaner on there this thing looks so great i'm gonna definitely do a side by side whenever I get it all put together. But let's fire it up, see if I can let it uh, run a little bit longer this time. And hopefully that holds, but most likely it might not because I don't know if I have the right O-ring on there, but let's figure it out together. We're shooting everything in 4K now just to piss Richard off because he's a cop. <laughs> It is so cold in here. I'm so fucking happy. God damn, that sounds good. Let me tweak it just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then we're going to call it a night because it's like 2 in the morning. Oh, we definitely got to tweak our timing a little bit. <laughs> the smoke. Oh, God, I'm happy, though. God, it sounded great for, like, two seconds. Great news. We did some adjusting. 
choke, tweak the distributor. Just had to adjust a couple things. It is running so much better. I'm getting ready to start it up for you. It sounds great. Even though I haven't done anything to the exhaust yet, we're going to do all that down the line later. It just sounds awesome. I'm so happy. Also shot some undercoating, painted a couple more things. I'm so happy with how it looks. I'm not happy with how many stupid lines and, you know, vacuum shit that it has. I've organized them as best I can, but for what it was, it looks awesome. I was looking at the older footage. We're going to do a side-by-side -side here on the video to see what it used to look like, and it just looks a thousand times better than it did. Also, fun fact, the old man's been in here sanding. We got the Mustang painted, so he's kind of turned his eye to this, and this back is looking so much better. If you watch any of my other footage... This quarter panel was just smoked. It was hit in like six or eight inches. The trunk was so bad, we thought we were gonna have to get a new trunk. He's got that squared away really good. We will be painting this one pretty damn soon, and I am so happy, but let's start her up, hear how she runs, and then uh, in this video. Also, I'm gonna put this in here in case I didn't say it before. I just, I love Holly so much. They have just been a huge help to the shop. Obviously, you can always buy any part that you need, but it just makes it so much easier when not only will they send it to me, but they'll help me out with what I'm needing. I, Whenever I ordered these originally for the 69 Blazer, my rep at Holly, he asked 20 different questions about you know what it was going to, what I needed, et cetera, et cetera. And then when I told him I was going to use it on this, he asked for the details on this motor to make sure everything was going to be okay. He said it would work fine, and they just have been nothing but great to the channel, and I absolutely love working with them. started it even if it was warmed up it's cold i haven't started this thing in three or four days even when it was warmed up it would take 10 minutes of pumping and bullshit so happy it's actually like a nice drivable car now i'm gonna start doing uh you know tweaking stuff to make sure my ac and heat's working we're gonna do that down the line but so freaking happy i am unbelievably happy with how this thing is running it's finally running as well as it looks i know some of you are gonna look at it and go it doesn't look that great well i mean considering what it was it's always been like a Decent body, and I kind of love that, you know, we did the airbags and the wires. The motor always ran like shit, and I've wanted to do that for a while. These parts originally were supposed to go <laughs> to the 69 Blazer, but I stole them, and I'm so happy they did. They look so much better. Very, very exciting. Also, now that the Mustang is out of here, we are back on the 69 Blazer. I have a ton of parts for it. Same thing with the Harley. I got all new bags, all new fenders, just a million things for it, too, so... We took like two or three weeks off there where I couldn't walk because my ankle was so messed up, but we are back in the shop and I'm very happy we're getting stuff done. And this thing is getting painted in the next week or two, so stay tuned for all that. If you are not already subscribed, please hit that button now. If you are subscribed, make sure you turn on notifications so you get notified every time one of my videos pops up. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment, all that good stuff I tell you at the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace, love ya. I